Hello all, welcome to Hearts of Iron 3, their finest hour UK playthrough. This is Divida and we're up to episode 12A, 3rd of February 1940. We're at war with Germany. Uh, Denmark has just fallen to the Germans and that's about where we are. Not at war with Italy and um, Japan just yet. Anyway, we'll jump into the game. Coming up to uh, December 2014 now in real life, so um, not long hopefully before Hearts of Iron 4 is on its way. Uh, they did say the first quarter, I think, of, um, of uh, 2015 that uh, Hearts of Iron uh, 4 will be out. So looking forward to that one, looking forward to that one. Right, let's start the game. come back to that. I'll just check my forces at the moment. Oh good, we didn't lose that bomber which is good. Um, got a new battle cruiser there which is cool. And these naval bombers are out striking out here. Quickly checking my fleets just to make sure they're uh, not um, getting into too much trouble. Okay, we've got, um, well, we've got a big fleet out here. Let's see if we can uh, catch up with this, uh, this enemy unit that's uh, bombing the convoys. Right, we had a tech come through there, which is um, Blitzkrieg. We'll probably change that one out for uh, another one. Well, we'll keep it going because um, that's still at 38. We'll just get the uh, industrial capacity sorted. Got a little bit of um, spare capacity so we'll uh, create a marine division so we've got convoys escorts infantry well uh, mechanized division motorized divisions a few uh, brigades to add on and a few ships and a few planes still coming through so that's good okay We've started a new uh, motorised uh, division there, which we'll add to. That's a Norway invite to faction, which I don't think will happen. We've had that there for a couple of uh, episodes now. Elsewhere, we're, um, let's put it in, uh, we're um, defending their borders just in case the Italians come into the fight and uh, over here with the Italians and the Ethiopians. Out in the Far East we're building up air forces to um, combat, combat the Japanese. Just check where we are here. Right, those two can be added together and we'll move that one out uh, to that. See what else we've got here. We've got that one that was a bit untidy. And we've still got a few more to um, augment with another another brigade. Hong Kong uh, station. Just a small garrison there. I don't think I'm going to defend that. We've got some subs right out in the far eastern waters there off of uh, nearly getting on for the Pacific and we've still got a few troops dotted around in India just to um, ensure that any Japanese landings get dealt with. So he's getting back up to strength. What's the next Germans move? We'll see. They're still sat there on the Maginot line. 
maybe they'll go north I don't know Right, we'll um, see how our spies are doing. Nearly up to strength on the spies. We'll get them um, trying to nick Tex again soon. Sorry. Diplomacy's come right down, so we're going to have to have a reshuffle or a rethink with um, our diplomacy points, just in case we need some. We'll have to um, play about with the tree a little bit, I think. We'll uh, drop the officers down even more, I think, and put this diplomacy up. We can probably manage with just one officer, see if that helps diplomacy. Okay, another tech come through, bridging equipped. Cool. So we can stop that one and um, maybe uh, what should we do we, we were going to swap out for armor here weren't we to get the armor back up to uh, strength cool unity 83% Money's uh, slipping a bit, but I um, don't think we've got any important laws to uh, bring in just yet. Let's see what if we've got anything coming through soon. Yeah, we've got some uh, fighters, uh, multi-role fighters coming through and some more of those uh, motorised divisions. Cool. We've still got fair amount of convoys and escorts in supply at the moment so um, and we've got some good manpower there we will try the invite to faction but I don't think it's um, gonna work so uh, wasn't Denmark was it it was uh, Norway No. So, naval strike tactics, cool. Let's uh, get that one. Uh. Okay, we'll um, leave that one and do air targeting. There we go. Units in Porsum. Ah, resource stockpile money. Okay. Okay, just check on our units again. Did we, um, I think, couldn't remember whether we put one in port, but that looks okay. Those two just need to um, repair. Transport's looking okay there. like that German units heading back to Germany. Hopefully we'll be in good shape infantry wise um, by the time uh, we face the um, Italians and the Japanese. Don't really want to cross the channel just yet. Don't think we'd be of much use as we are. Our stats on our um, infantry, well the motorised 4 and 5 that's not too bad but um, we'll see, we'll see how we go. Only if we've got men to spare I think would we um, go across the uh, go across the channel. Okay We'll um, pop that one there. <coughs> cool.
So it looks like the Russians are making inroads into Finland as well. Let's check the Japanese, see, um, see if they're, uh, they're up to anything out there. Still in a non-aggression pack with a couple of puppets, so they've not yet, um, not yet joined the war. Another unit ready. We have another motorised division, which we uh, will pop into that one. That's helped with uh, the IC. We'll probably... Um, metal's okay, so we'll uh, do another armour, I think. With um, engineer support. Let's do that. Armour's very good in France, as, as you guys probably know. Lots of planes and um, not much mountain at all. Bit of forest which confuses things a little bit, but um, other than that, good place for tank wars. And the Germans, I do believe, have um, been producing uh, heavy, yeah, heavy armoured divisions, or just starting to. We'll try and nick some tech. Now that the uh, spies are at full strength in these countries. Okay, yes, uh, the diplomacy points are just moving up slightly now, so we've we've cured that problem. Money's uh, still dropping, but um, not too concerned about that. I did send these bombers across to uh, to German soil soil there but um, we sent them over here but uh, they got hammered by the Luftwaffe so uh, decided not to send them again we are patrolling the channel with their with their fighters attach that one to home command and as I say the, the naval uh, bombers are, are patrolling out there as well We move it on a little bit more. We started at February, we're now March, so we'll uh, just tick it over a little bit faster just to uh, see if supply and transportation. Cool. Um, we'll um, keep that one going, I think, at the moment. That seems reasonable. So the um, German enemies work in the channel there at the moment. Bring this one uh, into the mouth of the channel. Sorry about that. We'll bring this one into the mouth of the channel. So uh, let's see if that helps at all. Okay, we're penniless now. Never mind, never mind. So we've got three uh, motorised divisions with that. Uh, and we've got another two coming out to finish that uh, that court. Got some destroyers. Uh, that's a division of Gurkhas, cool. And the odd uh, brigade again to bolster up. I think we could probably do with another couple of little brigades, so um, we'll do that in a minute. Still giving a bit of lend-lease to the French. Not busting them out, but it might help them um, produce some good units to fight the Germans. My submarines here seem to be um, getting pursued, so we'll... Uh, Bring those into base to re uh, repair. That 
fleet looks okay. Checking on these guys out here. They've not um, not caught anyone recently, convoy-wise. But they did knock out a couple of convoys a couple of episodes ago. Right, so that German unit's moved out into the Bay of Biscay now, so hopefully we should uh, be able to uh, catch up with him. Right, so um, what was that? Finland mobilising, was it? I think so. I think it was. I think it was. Which is a little bit late, because I think the... Oh, I thought the, um, thought the Soviet Union had attack Finland, but uh, not looking like it now. Okay. Let's check the Soviet Union. No, they're not at war with Finland. I, I thought I saw them in Finnish territory then. My bad. Okay. Let's get this big uh, fleet close to these, uh, try and catch up with my big fleet, if I can. Which one is it? That one? No. That one. Yes. Right, let's go uh, to patrol, except. Okay. Hopefully we'll catch up with these U-boats or whatever they are. Had a tech come through there, which was capital ship main armament. Good, we'll um, update the battle cruisers again. We'll um, go for large uh, war warship radar as well in a minute. Convoy's getting a little bit hit here. Tibet's still trying to decide who to align to. And um, I see needs tidying up. Yeah, so diplomacy is ticking over nicely now. We're not losing any more points there. And we've gained a couple of um, couple of dollars, but we are minus 0.33. So we're the end of March now. Whoops. Um, okay. Got another unit here to uh, deploy. That's just a solitary brigade. I think that one can go in there. So, oh, oh dear! I've I've attached that to the uh, HQ. That was a bit of a waste. My bad. My bad. Never mind. We we need a couple more brigades, as I said. So um, we'll do that while we. Uh, while we think about it, we'll have a couple of uh, infantry ones and a mountain one there just to uh, keep them going. Okay, come on, let's get these Germans. And let's hope we can nick a few um, a few techs as well. Cool, medium fuel tank off of the Italians. That's good. Cool. Oh. Germans have conquered Luxembourg. Ah, right. Yes, didn't see that going on. There we are. Yep. That's that's their way of coming round the Maginot line, I think. Okay. Quickly, another brigade attachment. Um, another infantry. Right, that one goes there. 
That's it. Okay. Okay. And an infantry division. Which can be a new division, I think. Cool. Let's check our techs. Elastic defense. Um, I think we'll swap that out for um, that's attack movement. Organization, I think, is always the best one, probably, to have. And naval engineering research. We can leave that alone now and go to mechanical engineering. Okay, we can do one more. We want to catch up with our bombers and uh, on the text there. Keep um, cool. They're asking to fight. They want to fight. Let's uh, get another set of destroyers going. Cool. Ah, there we go. We've managed to sink a convoy out there, which is good. Right, we've got some IC spare here. We'll do another um, naval bomber, I think. And maybe another multi-roll. Whoops, there's the doorbell, excuse me. And... Um, Let's uh, do another armour. There we go. Okay, doing all right now. Slowly getting the troops up, up to scratch. Let's um, let's move this new battle cruiser out to the far east because the German uh, the Japanese Navy really is uh, one to be reckoned with Just hold on one moment bit busy here at the moment, the doors, bells going and all sorts, so uh, apologies for that. We're nearly up on time anyway, we've um, moved from February to the end of April. Um, the Germans have took Luxembourg and uh, and we've definitely got some uh, units um, coming through which, um, which are... Uh, which are definitely worth having. Busy old house this evening. <laughs> Busy old house. Don't know how much you're picking up, but um, apologies for that. So we're 1st of May 1940. We'll just check our, um, quickly check, check our ships again, just to uh, make sure they're uh, not being destroyed while I'm not watching them. I do like to micromanage and um, I don't like to lose units if I can help it. We've got a couple there that are um, a little bit tired, but uh, that'll be uh, fine, I think. So we've sent our new battle cruiser out to the um, Far East.
and we're stri still trying to catch up with these German units that are um, out in the Bay of Biscay. This one can pop out and uh, we'll attach that to um, to one of these when we can catch up with it. They're moving about rather quickly. Let's see if we can move one in there. Oops. Supply organisation, cool. Let's um, There we go. Put that back on patrol. And uh, inefficient research there, which is, um, I think that one. Yeah, I think it's that one. So we'll uh, do the anti-submarine warfare there. I think we've done did we catch up with another one there? I think we did. So diplomacy is back up. We, um, uh, we're just losing a little bit on officers, but I'm not overly concerned at the moment. Maybe a bit of fine tweaking again. Don't think anyone else has come into the war at the moment. Oh, cool. We've got some submarine anti-aircraft armament. That's always welcome. And uh, we've got a couple of brigades here, which um, we'll, uh, we'll quickly move out. Oh, there goes my alarm. So, so we'll uh, quickly move these out before we sign off. Oops. And that one. And we'll uh, move those out to the Far East to join up with the uh, other guys out here. Let's get over there. That's it. So we'll send those there. Okay, well that's episode... Um, 12 8. We're in middle of May 1940 now and uh, we'll pause it there. Not really much happened this episode. I was expecting the Italians maybe to uh, join in. Um, as soon as they do and as soon as the Japanese do we'll be fighting uh, ground battles. We're winning the war in the um, in the seas at the moment. So this is Div signing off. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.